Hi everybody, how's it going? It's Brian for the TechMob.net, and in this video I'll be showing you a performance comparison comparing the HP Touchpad 16 gig Wi-Fi only model running 3.0.2 build 68, which is the latest version, and a iPad first generation 16 gig Wi-Fi only running 4.3.3 jailbroken. This is a first generation iPad with a iCarbon's white carbon fiber skin to it. So, both of these devices are off of a fresh boot, so let's go ahead and do a shutdown and boot up test. So, three, two, one. The iPad just turned itself off, so the, uh, the, uh, the touchpad just now started. Now if you watch my, com my uh, previous comparison videos, I, you pretty much know that the touchpad takes a very long time to start up. So let's go ahead and turn both devices back on. Three, two, one. iPad turns on quicker than the touchpad that just now came on. So let's go ahead and wait for them to boot up. So the first generation iPad just got to the lock screen and the touchpad is still booting up. So while we're waiting for the touchpad to turn on, let's go ahead and go into settings and clear the cache, cookies, and history for Safari because we will be doing some speed tests in both of the native web browsers on the respected devices. Almost knocked my camera over. So let's just go ahead and wait for the touchpad to turn on and there it is. So. As you can see, the touchpad takes much longer to turn itself on. Let's go ahead and launch the browser real quick so we could go into preferences and clear out the everything there. And then we'll get into some uh, app loading speed tests. Clear the cache, and there we go. So let's go ahead and close out of the settings application on the iPad. I'm not going to go into mail because there's some private stuff in there not going to go into calendar either because there's some stuff in there as well so let's just stick with some basic stuff let's go into the music app so that would be the iPod app on the first generation iPad three two one and you can see that by the time this little picture showed up the uh, the iPad was already finished and the iPad is also loaded up with a bunch of songs so there you go not going to go into the photos app because there's some private stuff in there so but believe me in pretty much every other app loading test I've done with the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4 the touchpad is noticeably slower than the i devices so let's go and open up Angry Birds because that's one of the only third-party apps that I have on both devices so three two one So the touchpad got to the little splash screens first. So in that respect, the, uh, the touchpad was a bit quicker. Let's go into a... So you can see that the touchpad is faster in this application thanks to the dual core processor. But still, when you're loading applications, the iDevices will be much faster. So let's go ahead and do the browser tests now. So let's go ahead and launch the browsers. Now let's go to a simple website, google.com. So three, two, one. There, I think the touchpad finished a little bit quicker than the iPad, but the uh, the progress bar on this one actually went away first, even though things weren't fully loaded. So let's go to boygeniusreport.com, BGR. 
and see how long that one takes. Three, two, one, go. If it's anything like the other two devices, it's much slower than the iDevices, so you can already see that the iPad is already displaying most of the content. The touchpad is, and yeah, the iPad is just noticeably faster. And I should also note that flash on the touchpad is completely disabled, so this one's already finished, this one's still loading stuff. Let's just go ahead and stop that because we already know that the touchpad won. You see here that flash is completely disabled. Next up, let's go to ngadget.com. So three, two, one. see that the iPad is already displaying some of the content. There it goes, loading some more images. And it's pretty much finished. Let's wait. And the iPad just finished, so the touchpad is still going. Let's just go ahead and stop that because there's no point in letting it finish. Now let's go to our website, thetechmob.net. So, three, two, one, go. So the iPad is already starting to display some of the text and the images and it's already finished. And you can see that on the touchpad it's still loading very slowly. Let's just go ahead and stop that because there's definitely no point in waiting for it to uh, finish. So let's go to one more website, gizmodo.com. So three, two, one, go. And as with the other websites, the iPad has loaded the content quicker. The touchpad is... There's just no text on the screen until just now. The iPad is already finished, and the, I... and the touchpad is still has a long way to go. So let's just put the touchpad out of its misery and stop the speed test. I'd hate to be a iDevice fanboy in my videos, but... Just the touchpad completely fails in pretty much every single aspect when comparing it to iDevices, so it's no wonder why HP completely killed WebOS and its respective hardware, so that's pretty much it with this video. This is the last performance comparison of the touchpad to the iDevices, so if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave them down below in the comments area. This is the last touchpad video I'll be doing, so... Right when I stop recording this video, I'm just going to go ahead and put it back in the box and put this up on eBay and let somebody else deal with it. But that's it with the video, so thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you all very soon.